Okay, so absolute convergence. Absolute convergence is a really important concept that's gonna come up when we start dealing with power series more. So it's useful to sort of get the conceptual piece of it down before we start doing anything in practice. So this video is gonna be a little shorter because there are no examples. It's more about the concepts. So if we talk about something converging absolutely, you might think of that as sort of an emphasis word, that it converges absolutely all the time, but really that's not what it means. When we talk about converging absolutely, what that means is the absolute values of the series converge. So if we're checking for absolute convergence, we're looking at taking away all the signs of the terms and asking if the remaining series converges. Now, knowing about absolute convergence can be very useful because there's a statement that says that if a series converges, absolutely, meaning its absolute values converge, the series itself converges. So that while that looks like the statement above, the statement above is sort of like saying, hey, if the absolute values converge, then we call that absolute convergence. The statement below says, hey, if that absolute convergence is happening, the regular series converges. In practice, this means we will often test for absolute convergence before we test a series for convergence itself. So I'm gonna draw a little flow chart. This sort of is gonna talk about how we deal with absolute convergence. It's gonna bring in a couple of other like concepts when I do it. So the first thing we're gonna do to test for absolute convergence. And like I said, we'll do some of these together. I just want to get the flowchart and the concepts down to you first. So when we test for absolute convergence, if it converges absolutely, then the series converges. Both absolutely and just converges. And we would stop there. So the absolute values converge, the series itself converges, we can stop. If the absolute values diverge, this leads us to something a little bit different. And what it leads us to is we can test the series itself. Now, if the series itself converges, we call that conditional convergence. So conditional convergence is when the series diverges absolutely, but converges in and of itself. And I will walk you through one example of that. If the series itself diverges, then we say the series diverges. So you test for absolute convergence first. If it works and it converges, then the series converges absolutely. If it doesn't, you test the series itself. And then if that converges, it's conditional convergence. It's con it converges conditionally. If it diverges, it's divergent. Now, a really quick example of conditional convergence is the alternating harmonic series, which looks like this. So alternating harmonic series, negative one to the n over n, so if I tested this for absolute convergence, I would basically be looking at the absolute value of negative one to the n over n, which gets rid of the alternating part, right? And turns it into just one over n. That's the harmonic series that diverges. So that would follow this path, right? So then we'll be tested the series itself. Now the series itself is an alternating series. So we look to use the alternating series test. So it's alternating. Thing one is confirmed. Uh, if I looked at the individual terms that without the negative one, so like one, one half, one third, one fourth, one fifth, they would consistently decrease. So that's condition number two. And then the limit is one as n goes to infinity of one over n is zero. So that's condition number three satisfied. So the, the series itself converges. 
So basically, the alternating harmonic series has conditional convergence. And we're going to talk more about these, the, the use of like absolute convergence and conditional convergence in class together, but I wanted you to see the basics.